Mr. Rennie is having. I believe that's our ring. I had no Islam. I believe you're right. I'll see. Hello, John M. Downstore. This is Lum and Abner. And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, Lum and Abner felt a little foolish after they doused a package of Diogenes Smith's pamphlets in water because they thought it contained a time bomb and then discovered that they had just heard an alarm clock ticking. Lum was afraid to tell Diogenes what they had done, so he delivered the wet pamphlet to the man waiting for them at the county seat. As we look in on the little community today, we find Lum, who has appointed himself air raid warden for Pine Ridge, in the Jot and Down store. Abner is just entering. Listen. Well, morning, Abner. Wonderful world. Yeah, wonderful world, Lum. I'm sorry I'm so late getting down this morning, but for the land's sake. What you got on, a band uniform? Oh, of course not, Abner. This is an official air raid warden's uniform. Huh? How's it look in it? Well, all right, I reckon, Mom. Except I'm feared it's a little big for you. C couldn't you get one where you didn't have to turn up the cuffs on the sleeves that away? Yeah, I don't like that so good myself, but the feller said I'd more than likely grow into it. What feller? Oh, the feller that gives out the air raid warden's uniform. Oh, uh, feller from the giver man, huh? Well... Not exactly. Say, when Mousie comes in, tell him I want to see him right away. I, I got to sign him up for an official airplane watcher. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell him. Well, what fella was it if he weren't from the giver man? Abner, don't ask so many questions. The curiosity here is going to get you in trouble one of these days. Well, I just want to know where you got the uniforms all. It's official. That's all you need to know. Where I got it is a military secret, I think. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what does that say there on your cap? P-O... Don't read that, Abner. That, that needs fixing. P-O-R-T... Porter. Hey, dog, is you going to be a railroad porter, too? Of course not. Well, it says on your cap there, P-O-R-T... I know how to spell porter, but I told you that needs fixing. Oh. Uh -huh. You got to change that to air raid warden. I had to get this uniform because it's the only one they had at the second hand store. I mean, at the... Second hand store? Dogus, did you just buy that thing yourself? No, I never bought it. I rented it. Rented it? But I figured an air raid warden ought to have some kind of a uniform. And it'll look official as soon as I study up some kind of a badge to wear with it. Yeah, well, where'd you rent it, Lum? I I'd love to rent me a uniform, too. Well, you can't rent one. You ain't no air raid warden. Oh. Besides, the uh, store's cleaning at the county seat. I picked this up when I went in there to deliver that last package of pamphlets for Diogenes. Oh, I see. And I hope I don't have to deliver no more pamphlets there right away, neither. Hope you don't. Well, that feller at the depot that was waiting for the pamphlets was awful mad when he seen the package was all wet. Well, did you tell him we throwed it in a bucket of water because we thought there was a bomb in it or something? Of course I never told him. Didn't want him to think I was that ignorant. Well, wh what'd you tell him? Well, I tried to study up some kind of an excuse. First, I was going to tell him that I got caught in the rain. Caught in the rain. Then I seen there wasn't no clouds in the sky, so I knowed he'd never believe that. No. <laughs> you could have told him he was drowned. Er, no, no, no. I thought of that, too. But seeing he saw me walking around the depot there, he never would have believed that, neither. Oh, no, of course not. So I told him a bridge had been washed out. I had to ford the river on foot. What river? He asked me that same question. I just said, the river. Oh. But that weren't the worst part about it. Then he started asking how come the package got wet while I was fording the river and all my clothes were still dry. Yeah? How'd you explain that? Well, I just told him I'd take my clothes off and left them on the bank while I carried the package across the river. I know, because that was quick thinking, Mom. Well, then he won't know how I got my clothes if I left them on the other side of the river. Uh-oh. That's right, ain't it? Well, he got me so mixed up, I don't know what all I did tell him. Well, I just hope he don't report back to Diogenes and tell him all you said. Oh, well, I ain't worried about that. He's too far away from here to do any reporting. Yeah, yeah. But don't you never tell Dodge and he's nothing about us throwing them pamphlets in a bucket of water. Oh, I wouldn't tell him that. Oh, he found that out. I would be done for showing sure up. Lose my circulating manager job. Neither one of us would have a chance to win that $10,000 prize for honesty and stuff. Yeah, well, don't worry. I ain't... Wait a minute, there comes Mousy. Oh, well, good. Let me get set down at the table in the library here. That's my air raid warden's office now. Yeah, well, what are you going to do with Mousy, Long? Oh, I got some blanks to be filled out before he can get to be a watcher. 
Tell him the warden wants to see him. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell him. How do I look sitting here with my cap on and all, Abner? Oh. Well, never mind asking me. There he comes. Wonderful world, Abner. Yeah, wonderful world now. See, come on in. The porter or uh, the warden wants to see you over there. Yeah, come over here, Mr. Gray, and sit down in front of my desk. Well, I can't sit down now, Lom. I have to put up the grocery orders. Well, this is more important, Mousy. Come over here and sit down. Yes, sir. So you want to apply for one of my official watchers, eh, Mr. Gray? Well, do I? I hadn't heard anything about it. Mom. Well, you do. I'll tell you that. Yes, sir. But before I can find you one of them, we'll have to fill out this here blank first. Now, let me see here. Um, what's your name? Well, you know that, Lum. It's Mousy Gray. I know, but I can't write Mousy down. You must have some other name besides that. Well, uh, my real name is... Lou Ellen Snavely Gray. <laughs> What's that again? Lou Ellen Snavely Gray. Yeah, I'll put that down. Yes, sir. L O O R L U L E W. Sir. I guess I'll just make it mousy. Yeah, I like that better. Let's see. Uh, resident. Yeah, you got one of them. Yes, sir. Yes. Place of business. Well, that's here at the store. Occupation, uh, grocery deliver boy. Yes, sir. Born at... Where was you born at? I was born at home, Lom. Home. And, uh, when was that, do you recollect? Well, I believe it was on Monday. All right. Monday. Now then, uh, race. I don't know what that's doing in there. I reckon that means that... Did you ever win any races of any kind? What do you want to know that for, Lom? I don't know. More than likely, that's to see if a feller is feeling in good health. Might oh. have to do a lot of running on this job. How about it, Mousy? You recollect any races you're running? Well, me and Homer Kilgore ran in the three-legged man's race at an elk stick make once, but we only got fifth, Lom. It was all my fault, too. Uh, is that on the 4th of July? Yes, sir. I believe it might have been. I'll put that down anyway. Fifth and three I'm legged still race. I'm awful mad about losing the race. I wanted to win for Homer's sake because, well, Homer was just like a mother to me. Yeah. Well, now what's next? Um, how premiums to be paid? Premiums? Wait a minute, Long. What kind of blank have you got there? Abner, you keep out of this. Well, that sounds just like them insurance blanks that Squire Skimps always carrying around with him. You better not find that blank no place, Mousy. Abner, this ain't no insurance blank. Well, let me see it. Just let me take a look at I it. I don't think. I know that that looks just like them that Squire has. All right. This is one of those Squire left in here once, but I'm just using it temporary till I get my official ones from the giver man. Oh, Come on, Mousy, let's get on with this here. Yes, sir. What diseases have you had in the last five years? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Long, Long. Now, what's wrong? Well, look, look, there comes Diogenes in the store. Oh, there. recollect now, don't don't let him know nothing about me taking them wet pamphlets to the county seat I'll be done for a Oh, time. no, I won't say a word, not a word, my dear. A uh, wonderful world, friend. Wonderful world, Diogenes. Wonderful world. Uh, Mr. Edwards, my staunch and steadfast harbinger of the mighty message of truth. I have for you another mission. Oh, I beg your pardon. Am I intruding upon some private conference? Oh, no, no. I, I was just pinting Mousy here as one of my official watchers for air raid duty. Yes, sir. Fact is, I'm going to start him out tonight. He's going to be on guard duty all night long. Uh, tonight, you say? Yeah, that's right, tonight. Well, I'm afraid that's putting too much of a burden on so young and frail a lad. Uh, why not let me volunteer my services... And let this old, weather-worn frame of mind stand sentinel for tonight. Oh, no, I wouldn't think of letting you do that, Dodge. No, but I insist. With my lantern as friend and comrade, I shall keep a faithful watch during the black and silent hours of night. Oh, no, Dodge, you, you, you got all them pamphlets to print during the night. That's more than enough work for one fellow right there. No, tut, tut, tut. We must learn to divide ourselves up and serve in dual roles. I shall stand guard tonight, my friend. No, I can't let you do that now, Dodge. And I know Mousy wouldn't let you neither. Would you, Mousy? Well, if he really wants See there, to... there, Mousy wouldn't let you do it neither. So you just take it easy, Dodge, and these, and leave all this work to me. To a fellow like me that's always wanting to lend a helping hand. Paddle, paddle. Well, as you wish, Mr. Edwards. 
But perhaps I can serve in some small way by spelling Mousy off for an hour or so during the night. Yeah, yeah, you do that, I reckon. But don't put yourself out, none, uh, No, no, I shan't. Oh, uh, I've forgotten my real purpose in this visit. Mr. Edwards, my loyal envoy of the wondrous words of truth and kindness, I enjoin you to dispatch the printed words of honesty once again to our faithful representative at the county seat. At the county seat? Yes. Yeah, your last journey there was carried out with no difficulties, no irregularities, was it not? Why, uh, yeah. Yeah, everything was fine. Wonderful. Why do you ask it? No, the question was prompted only by my deep concern for those who labor in the light of the lantern. Now, uh, here, my friend, are the packages you must dispatch to their destination. Uh, you will notice there are two packages for your journey this time. The small one and the large one. And farewell, my friend. Well, wait, Dodge, uh, are both these supposed to go to the same fellow there in the depot? Uh, the small one, yes. It contains our golden pamphlets. The large one, it contains a pair of rubber boots. Rubber boots? Yes. I advise you to use them when you ford the river this time, my trustworthy friend. Mm -hmm.